Welcome to This is Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. I'm going to move this down a little just a smidge. Um, and today we're going to take a look at the Zentangle Original Tangle Scarabou. All right. This is, I mean, they're, they're all nice ones. If it wasn't a nice one, I probably wouldn't do it, right? Um, yeah, that would be funny. Sometimes we'll come up, oh, well, this is a horrible one. <laughs> That would just be, that would be funny. All right. This is, it's neat. It's not necessarily as hard as it looks. All right. Starts off with S shapes. And I like to think of them as kind of, you know, like they're elongated S shapes. And we'll do this on the corner here. Like that. So not as much of it like when I would, like, well, this is how I would normally do an S. I wouldn't, you play with it though. I mean, maybe you could have fun with it that way. I found just having this be a little shallower was helpful. And then kind of in the middle of the bottom, we'll start another one. Ooh, can I get three in here? Maybe. Well, that one's a little bit more scoopier than normal. Well, we'll see what happens. Okay. That one too. Actually, the, uh, is it Noom? It, uh, uh, is another tangle. It just kind of starts off this way. Super interesting. All right. So once you have that, done then from the bottom this is what I'm calling the bottom of the S we're gonna make a C shape coming around the top here now I what I almost wanted to say was oh take a look in the description section this is one of those tangles that um, uh, has not been put out uh, like in a newsletter uh, or anything from Zentangle. So I have no beautiful artwork to share with you from them. And you'll just have to trust me that I'm doing it fairly right. <laughs> and then we'll end up with a little, you know, a little orb on the end. So it's kind of like a fescue. All right. And then we're going to do that for all of them. And wait, let's see. I'm trying to remember, I have this thought about, well, let's just take it right off the, we'll just take it off the page. So that way here, I can start a new one. And here, whoops, that one connected. They can connect or not connect. It's up to you. I just, I, you know, it, <laughs> I do my best to try to be consistent with whatever, whatever happens. And so it's interesting. You could almost stop it right here. It, it, it's kind of interesting. It looks like, you know, here it looks like waves. Uh, I don't know what that looks like. You know, it's just, it's interesting. Now, on the other side, right from this point where we were making the C shape this way, we're going to do another one this way. And honestly, it doesn't have to be a C shape. Um, Maybe I'll do it a little straighter and then I'll show you uh, on my samples because today is uh, Thursday and it's Tangle Time Day and we had a ton of fun with this. All right, so this one we're going to howl about underneath this section. So if you watch, so I'm going to start here, make a loop like I'm doing a C shape or whatever shape I end up. Well, it's going to be a C shape. Oh, maybe a little straighter than a C shape. Okay, I'll, we'll aim for those like that. So we're hollow bowing this underneath here. Same thing. And here too. And the last one. And now the last step that Zentangle shows is auraing the whole thing. But you know, it looks kind of cool like that. You could stop there if you wish. But no, let's do it. Let's go ahead and aura. Now you could just do a simple scallop, right? If you wanted to. Or do a tighter aura where you're really working to follow all, see all of the little contours that happen. And this is kind of fun because it, it just adds a, a layer of focus that I don't know. I find it kind of fun to, to do that and then, and to see, okay, how, how close can I uh, follow that contour? And like I said, I, I, I have fun with these kind of things. 
And it's one of those, if you don't, then, like I said, just do a big scallop. All right, one side and then the other side. And see, and like here, well, I don't, well, I left just enough room to come back. I'll have to do that a little bit. Well, that one's better, a little narrower. I wasn't thinking about the aura ing as we were doing it, and that's you know, I, I, honestly, that's the right way to do Zentangle, where you're not really thinking about it, not planning about it. Whatever happens, happens, and we just go with it. Like that, a little rounder. Like that. And then we will add some graphite on the outside. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do... Let's do this. I'm going to just stay back a little bit from from this and kind of leave a little gap. Oh, yeah, oh, I'm, oh, I'm auraing the aura with the graphite. Let's do the one side. Because it's kind of a neat effect to do it that way. You could, and my one sample, I can show you where I have it right up next to uh, uh, that aura line. But it's whatever effect that, well, number one, it's whatever you feel like doing, or whatever effect you want to have. And this is just, like I said, this is just kind of neat. And then a little gap there, or a little piece in the gap. Well, you know, actually, I can use what's left on the tortillon in those little sections. And just a little there, a little there. It's just neat. Neat, neat. Now, you could, too. Oh, let me do something different. You can, you can have fun with this little shape. Well, let's see. Well, it's up to you. You could make a shape out of this or, you know, let me do this instead. Because I'm seeing it as, you know, uh, as a loop. So I'm just going to add a little graphite inside like I did here, you know, putting a little graphite in all of the little interior sections like that. Oh, yeah, I like that. And to me, it kind of, it, it creates a ribbony look. All right, so as I mentioned, um, we had fun with this today in our Tangle Time. And as I mentioned, so this one, I, I decided, eh, well, no, I did it on both sides. Um, <clears throat> now I need to move this back up. Um, but I, I did this right up to the aura line. So you can see, you know, it's it's different. It just depends, like I said, on what uh, on what result you're looking for. And all of a sudden, I'm hungry for Cinnabons. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, we always have to bring food into Zentangle because it's fun. Uh, but yeah, so this one I did it in the did the Scarabou in the round. This was yesterday's Daily Tangle, uh, the one that we can't pronounce very well. Uh, Platiaker. All right, then this we we I decided to pair them together uh, today because just it's like oh I think that they would look neat and they kind of do. Uh, this one I decided to do it all the way across and have fun on a gray tile. And it's not finished. I'm not sure what I wanted. I need to do something else. I'm not sure. Oh, actually, you know what? Some of the color or something. I, oh, I did it once in here with a little bit. But uh, anyway, still playing on this one. But just want to show, you know, doing it all the way across. Have, you know, things coming out of it. It's all good. This one I decided to... No, I still did the tight aura. But I, yeah, I ordered with the two colors uh, coming around. But anyway, just like to share. If you would like to have... This is what I found. When I hit the table, then the, the camera goes blurry. Sorry about that. Um, but if you would like to have this kind of fun uh, with us, uh, these are free sessions that I do uh, every week on Thursdays. It's called Tangle Time. Uh, link is in 
the description section. Now, I, I can't, I can't remember now, I, at this point, I can't remember. Did I mention? Yeah, this is, this is a tangle that has not uh, been put in a newsletter or anything from Zentangle. So, again, I don't have any beautiful work to show you from them. But if you go to my blog, uh, go to my website and, and follow me there, when I post the results from this, uh, this, these sessions, then you will see a lot of amazing artwork from everybody that participated. And again, come join us for free. We have a lot of fun. Also on, um, my link tree link where you'll find that link to my, uh, to my website, uh, you will find ways to follow me for classes. So, uh, I have them listed on the website, but not really a way to follow me there. Cause I don't, I don't post them like on my blog, Hey, announcing, you know, uh, you know, I'm doing things, but on, um, Facebook, if you can follow, you can follow my page or, and, or I should say, if you'd like to be a part of a community of Tanglers, we would love to have you join us. We have an amazing, amazing group of people. Um, it's so much fun and everyone is so positive and, um, it's just really, really, really fantastic. Um, so the link is there, but know that there are four questions you must answer in order to gain entry. Um, and I just like to make sure everybody's aware of that. So I mention it every time. Uh, let's see, uh, a bunch of places to follow me for other classes. Cause uh, Thursdays are always free Tuesdays. Generally you have a fee depending on what the class is, but on the third Tuesday is tough tangle Tuesday. That one is a free one as well. So come and join us for free. If you like it enough and, and you like the content, you know, because the, uh, the classes will have a theme or, you know, a something specific that we're doing. And then come join us there if you wish. All right. Um, oh, I, I'm out of order. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, I, I don't think I said it. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, please click on the like button. And if you liked it enough to see more please click to subscribe to the channel. I appreciate that. Feel free to leave comments. I do try my best to, to, uh, to reply. So if you have questions and whatnot, uh, I do try to make sure to hit those. Uh, and I think that's it. If I forgot something, watch tomorrow, watch yesterday's, you know, I'll fill in the blanks there. All right. So again, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you again so much for watching and I wish you happy tangling.